It was May 2020 when I got to see probably one of the most amazing things that I've ever got to see out on the water. Um, the whole entire world was going into lockdown for COVID and, yeah, people were, weren't allowed to leave their houses, yet, you know, I had this little loophole living up here in the Cape where I could drop my mooring lines and head off on a bit of an adventure. We're coming back from this just amazing five day trip and I see these false killer whales out in the distance. And I start heading over thinking, oh, we'll see if they'll ride on the bow of the boat. And then I just see this big ball. I'm thinking, oh, you know, there's some bait there. They're rounding up some bait. And um, as I get closer, and as you can see in the footage, it's these massive big black dewfish in a, in a huge school um, surrounded by whales. What surprised me the most out of it was I was thinking, you know, like if the whales are harassing and eating these dewfish, then there's no way that we could catch one. And then within a second of a lure hitting the water, we're, we're hauling in these dewfish and they've got scratch marks on them where the, the whales are, are grabbing them as we're winding them in. I actually uh, bent over the back duckboard to pick this, this uh, dewfish up and there's just a whale, it was like something out of SeaWorld coming straight up um, towards me as I ripped the fish out of the water. The sheer size of some of these fish as the bait ball worked its way under the boat was just incredible. It was just such an amazing sight to see and yeah, I don't think I'll ever get to see anything like that again in my life. Um, mind blowing, but yeah, whether or not it was a, a spawning um, patch of dewfish or whether or not the whales had pushed them all up there, who knows? But yeah, it's just like a really amazing experience to be able to experience that, you know, in a time where the whole world is essentially about to spend the next couple of years locked inside. It's just something, you know, on another level of, of being really special. Yeah, when I'm looking back at the footage now, I even think, oh, you know, where well, am I ever going to see anything like this again in my life? But every single day out here has been different. And, you know, I bought the boat in 2019 and it's 2023 now. And just every single day something happens or I get to see something really cool. And, yeah, you just, like, it's, you can't compare it to, you know, spending an average day living on land. You know, it doesn't come without its, its risks and its hard work. But it definitely pays off when you get to see some amazing things like this. I do wish that, you know, a hundred times over that I had got some better footage or, you know, spent a bit, little bit more time there with the fish. But looking back on it, you know, it was just still just been a great experience. And it's one of the reasons I'm going to start making these vlogs because I have a little bit of this stuff going on in my life that, you know, I, I don't think I'm sharing it and getting out there the right way. And yeah, so you can be as, you know, passionate about it as I am. There goes the Trinity Bay off into the sunset. Hopefully it comes back soon with a heap of food for us. Not like the other week. We've been waiting for it for ages. Yeah, that was my first vlog. So I feel pretty good about it. I actually really enjoyed it. And it took a three full 360 from where I was started with it this morning. Actually been poking along at it all day. It's not, it didn't just, happen like that and it seems pretty simple but yeah so yeah basically what I'm going to start doing is getting rid of a lot of my old footage off YouTube that I'm, I'm not happy with I think it's pretty substandard and yeah just start putting these little vlogs together whether they go for five ten minutes or you know I find some older footage and it goes for 20 and we you know talk through it or or whatever so no there's no pressure from anyone to follow along and I'm not going to feel that pressure to go out and try and get content I hate the word content. I hate the word catch and cook as well. But, you know, to get, to go out and just look for stuff and then just be faking it. You know, um, I live out here. I'm out here every day. Um, there's always something going on, whether it's like really good or really bad. So, yeah, if I can capture as much as I can, which I do already, I just want to share it on, a, I guess, a different um, platform. So most of this will go to YouTube. There'll be a little bit of it um, on the Instagram stories and sharing to the Cape York Fishing Chick Facebook page. And yeah, if you guys want to jump in and subscribe and follow, if not, just keep doing what you're doing. Like, I'm cool with it. If you've got something cool, like a vlog that you want, you know, me to follow, I'd love to, to do that as well. I don't watch a lot of YouTube. So 
but I'm always happy to support, you know, other guys that are, you know, up and coming or, or whatever, you know, like I really like the, um, just trying to think of that word now, the more organic, natural stuff, um, than, you know, the, like the fake crying, the fake laughing and the, the fake, you know, this fish is so big sort of stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. Like cheers for anyone that did take the time to watch. And there's probably a few people have seen that footage before just, uh, yeah, just put a little bit of a twist on it, threw it out there, see what happens. Um, but now, yeah, I'm going to like enjoy this beautiful Cape York sunset. A few cumulus clouds there, a bit of rain showers. Whew, living the dream.